Hi, it's Veronica. This video is about Subquery Network. Subquery is a decentralized developer platform for data management. Basically, it stands between the layer 1 blockchain and between the DAP. And there, it manages the back-end data processing for developers to have the freedom to focus on the front-end data processing and also on the core use case, essentially. So how can Subquery be useful for developers? Well, basically, blockchain is a bunch of data organized in blocks. And those blocks and that information recorded by itself is not much use for developers who are building an application. So you need data indexing or the ability to filter and locate the exact pieces of information in the blockchain that you need for developing something. In fact, this blockchain indexing is a rather complicated process that involves many steps, including setting up nodes. And for that, it means that developers would have to go somewhere and find the node providers who are willing to invest into their project. And that is also not so easy. So Subquery connects the node providers with developers and allows them to communicate and set up the price schedules, makes it easier for both of them. Subquery system consists of three groups, consumers, indexers, and delegators. Consumers are the developers. They are the ones who pay SQT tokens to get the service of node providers or indexers. Indexers are the ones who provide the nodes and they get the revenue from that. And they also get supported by the delegators. The delegators are the ones who only support the indexers with their own SQT tokens, and they also get rewards for that too. Each atomic transaction in the network has a fixed price. That means that the consumers and the indexers can estimate the approximate revenue and costs. On the plan marketplace, indexers and consumers advertise their pricing plans and payment options. Now let's move on to the funding. The total amount invested into Subquery Network is $10.8 million in two rounds, Series A and Seed, both in 2021. The investors are not the most famous ones, and that can be both a good point or a disadvantage depending on how you look at it. The biggest one of them is a digital currency group with $1.3 billion in totally invested funds. The lead investors were Arrington Capital, Digital Currency Group, Alliance DAO, and Stratos Technologies and there were also other investors. Very recently, Subquery announced a public sale that is upcoming in the near future. I will leave the link to the announcement in the description. Let's get to the screen to see the tokenomics. So there are gonna be two token sale rounds, one more expensive, however, the vesting schedule and the unlock is going to be before the private investors, and the second option is cheaper, however, the vesting schedule is close to the seed A investors. No exact prices have been announced yet, However, the platform is known, it is token soft. In the seed round, the investors paid 15 of a cent and they are allocated 12% of the total token supply. And the investors of the Series A round uh, were allocated 15% of the total token supply. However, they paid four times as much, 0 0.006 of a dollar. The biggest allocation, as we can see, is for foundation and community, that is 41%. It is needed for the ownership of Subquery Network also needed for marketing, growth, incentives, and grants, and all of that kind of fun stuff. 30% is going to be unlocked for the initial needs, and the total amount is going to get into the market in a period of five years. At least it is what is expected of now, and it is always subject to change. The core team is allocated 20% of the total token supply with a lockup period of two years, and then over the next two years, they are going to have the vesting as well. The vesting schedules and allocations seem to be well balanced and well organized. So the only question left to decide whether to invest into Subquery or not is the price of the public sale. So that is going to be known later. And for that, I'm going to leave the links to the Discord and to Twitter and to where you can subscribe for the announcements. That was it. Anyways, uh, thank you for watching. See you in the next one.